Mm. Hello, fellas. Sit down. Well, that's very nice, Mr. Public Defender. It's all in very good taste. I'm, uh, I'm properly impressed. You're Greg Wade? Yes, Greg Wade. Spike Hamilton? And Dale Vesey. As before you start getting too profound, would you mind telling us who put up our bail? What do you care? It's up and you're out. Now, you two will plead not guilty on all charges. I talked with the district attorney this morning. He'll advise the judge that the assault on the guard was an independent act on Greg's part. Based on the evidence, you two should be found guilty of only burglary. And me? Grand theft charge will be dropped. The district attorney will ask that you be found guilty of burglary and assault. Well, uh, but what if the jury doesn't see it that way? There won't be any jury. And why not? Because it'll be a lot tougher. You'd be convicted on all charges. <clears throat> no. What do you mean, no? No, I want a jury trial, and so do they. Well, let them answer. You fellas understand what I've been saying? Uh, no. Uh, yeah, sure. Now, look, they've got you sewed up. I'm giving it to you straight. But we're innocent. The jury will believe us. We'll be exonerated. Completely. Come on, Greg. They found the stuff in your car. Fingerprints on it after you took your gloves off. The guard can identify you. Now, why kid yourself? Public defender. Defender of corrupt officials. Defender of hypocrisy. Yes, you'll make a deal for us, you and that district attorney. You get it? The system. The law. You tell me, Mr. Egan, which is the justice, which is the thief? Shakespeare. I hear you talking. What's the matter with your friends? Not a thing. Ask them. You two want a jury trial, too? It's your right. Don't tell me. It's in the Constitution, ain't it, Greg? Absolutely. You? Well, sure, I'm innocent. I see. Spike, you told the police you had no previous arrests. I talked with the district attorney this morning. You got six months in Detroit. Guess I forgot. I guess you did. That can make a lot of difference at the trial? It won't make it any easier. If you're convicted on all charges, it could be 10 or 15 years. Well, it's like I say, a system. It's a world full of bombs, tensions. No, don't tell me the rest of it. I know it. You're the lost generation. You betcha. Listen, with that Detroit rep, I don't want to mess around. Would it make a difference if I went in the way you said I should? Depends. It should be easier on the lesser charges. That makes sense, doesn't it? <clears throat> what price justice, huh, Mr. Egan? Now, this is the United States of America. There'll be no deals with our lives. See, that's my platform. Youth for tomorrow speaks for today. For him, for him, and for me. For all of us fouled up with your lies, with your dirt rubbing off on us. Who are you trying to kill, Greg? Besides yourself. You know it, Mr. Egan. Killing oneself. The only thing a man can do that's really individual. The ultimate protest. Yes. You're right. Then take my advice. Let your friends off the hook, too. What's it going to be, Mr. Egan? You, uh, you want to drop us? I'm sure the court can appoint someone else. Jury trial or nothing. All right, you'll have your jury trial. I know how it is, fellas, the bombs, the tensions, things are tough all over. <laughs> Let me know if you change your mind. Yeah, oh. so long, Counselor. Oh, uh, that benefactor of ours, that uh, selfless individual, the, uh, the do-gooder who put up our bail, his name wouldn't be uh, Judge Walcott by any chance. It could be. It could be anybody. You're such a worthy cause. 